Welcome and thank you for always joining us. We are looking at sequences and series. Form 3 Mathematics, KCSE 2023 Preparations. And the question we have reads, the, third, the second, third and ninth terms of an arithmetic progression AP form a geometric progression. Find the common ratio of the GP B given that the sum of the first six terms of an AP is 306 find the first term and the common difference of the AP then Roman 2 of part B we find the number of terms of that AP that will give a sum of at least 1600 for us to get the last three marks we begin with part A of the question Remember, this is an AP, and to get the nth term of an AP, we use the formula A plus N minus 1 into D, where A is the first term, N is the number of terms, and D is the common difference. We are told the second, remember the first term, is usually given by letter A. The second term is given by A plus the common difference. The third is going to be A plus twice the common difference in that particular order. So the second term in this case, the second term is A plus D then we have uh, the third which is a plus twice d the ninth will be a plus 8d that is if you substitute it in the nth term our n is 9 for the ninth term so it is going to be 9 minus 1 which is 8 you multiply by d giving us 8d we are told these three terms form a geometric progression we need to get the common ratio that is from here common ratio would be given by taking the second over the first that is a plus 2d divided by a plus d and this one will be equal to the third one which is a plus 8d you divide by the second which is a plus twice d from here we cross multiply we are going to have a plus 2d multiplied by a plus 2d and this one is going to be equal to a plus 8d multiplied by a plus d we open the brackets a times a you get a squared then a times 2d you get positive 2ad 2d times a you get twice ad then 2d multiplied by 2d you get 4d squared and this one is going to be equal to a times a you get a squared plus a times ad will give us ad plus 8 times 8d times a you get 8ad and lastly we have 8d you multiply by d giving us 8d squared from there we collect like terms but remember a is common on both sides it cancels then like terms on this other side we have 4ad plus 4d squared and this one is going to give us 9ad plus 8d squared like terms together 9ad we remove to this other side such that we have 4ad minus 9ad which would be equivalent to this is 8d squared 4d squared moves here and becomes a minus this one is going to give us negative 5ad being equal to 4d squared we divide both sides by d first d and d will cancel 
such that minus 5a will be equivalent to 4d. If you want to find the value of d, you divide both sides by 4. And in this case, our d, our d is going to be equivalent to minus 5 over 4a. From here now, once we have d, we can go and get our common ratio. Our common ratio r will be equivalent to, we can use the first part, which is a plus twice d, but we take 2 multiplied by the value of d, which is minus 5 over 4a, divided by, this is a, plus d, and our d is negative, 5 over 4a. From here, we can move ahead and get the value of the common ratio. So this one is going to be a minus 2y times 5 over 4a. This one will be 10 over 4a divided by a minus 5 over 4a. This is the same as we have a negative 6 over 4a divided by negative a quarter a. If you convert the numerator into the decimal, we are going to have negative 1.5a divided by negative 0.25a. A and A goes, and our common ratio here is going to be equal to 6. And that gives us our 4 marks from the first part of that question. Remember to subscribe and also help us to share the link. We move to part B. Given that the sum of the first six terms of the AP is 306, find the first term and the common difference of the AP. We know sum in an AP is given by n divided by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 multiplied by d. We have n is 6 since we are talking about the first 6 terms and therefore our n is 6. So 6 divided by 2 you get 3 multiplied by twice a plus n is 6. So 6 minus 1 you get 5. 5 times d you get 5d and this one is going to be equal to a sum of 306. From there, we move down and open the bracket. 3 times 2a, you get 6a. Plus 3 times 5d, you get 15d. And this one is going to be equal to 306. But remember, we have already gotten the value of d somewhere. And our d is minus 5 over 4a. So we move down and substitute it here. We have 6a plus 15 multiplied by d and the value of d is negative 5 over 4 a this one is going to be equal to 306 if you eliminate the fraction by multiplying by 4 all through here by 4 you get 24 a here by 4 4 and 4 goes then we remain with 15 times 5 giving us minus 75 a this one is going to be equal to 3 or 6 to multiply by 4, giving us, a, giving us 1,224. Collecting the like terms together, 24a minus 75a, you get minus, minus 51a, which is going to be equal to 1,224. You divide both sides by a, our a is going to be equivalent to negative 24 in that particular order. Once we have the value of a, we can go ahead and get the common difference. And for us to get the common difference, we move up where we have d, and our d is going to be equal to negative 5 over 4 multiplied by a, and our a has already been found to be minus 24. 
so 4 goes to itself once it goes to your 6 and therefore our d is going to be negative 5 you multiply by negative 6 giving us an answer equivalent to 30 in this case we can see our a is minus 24 and our d is equivalent to 30 everything satisfied those are the two answers to part b roman 1 we do the last part which is roman 2 the number of terms that is now n of the ap that will give a sum of at least 1600 we know that sum of terms in an ap again is given by n divided by 2 multiplied by 2a plus n minus 1 multiplied by d and we need this one to give us a sum greater or equal to 1600 we are looking for n therefore we don't have n over 2 we multiply by 2 times a already our a is minus 24 so this one is going to give us negative 48 multiplied by this is our n minus 1 this is n minus 1 multiplied by the common difference which is 30 and this is equivalent to a sum greater or equal to 1600 we are going to have n over 2 multiplied by minus 48 this is n times 30 you get positive 30 n minus 1 times 30 you get minus 30 and this one is going to be equal to greater or equal to 1600 so we continue we are going to have n over 2 into brackets minus this is minus 48 minus 30 we are going to have 30 n minus 78 uh, being equal to a sum greater or equal to 1600 so this one is going to give us a if you multiply n over 2 times 30 n to get a 15 n squared then minus n you mo, n divided by 2 you multiply by 78 to get 39 n and this one is going to be equal or greater than 1600 from here now we know getting x using our quadratic formula method x is going to be equal to minus b plus or minus b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a and in this case our x is n hence our n is going to be equal to greater or equal to the value of n in this case is 39 39 plus or minus into the square root of we have 39 squared which is going to give us a 521 we can do that using our, our calculator so 39 squared you get 1521 minus we are going to have 4 multiplied by uh, multiplied by 15 multiplied by negative uh, multiplied by negative uh, 1600 everything is gonna be divided by everything is going to be divided by twice times uh, the value of n that is 2a and our a is going to be 15 so that is 30 remember this equation if you bring 1600 to this other side we are going to have 15 n squared minus 39 n minus 1600 that is why we have negative 1600 here from here we move down n is going to be greater or equal to uh, if you work out all this you are going to get an answer equivalent to 11.71
which is approximately 12. That is again our answer to Roman 2 of part B. Thank you for watching and welcome to this channel. And in case you are watching this channel for the first time, please take a second or two and click the subscribe button so that anytime we publish a video like this, YouTube will automatically send you a notification.